out a piece of paper, crayons, and a pencil. Tune in Mr. Allison's YouTube channel. So, Kobe, 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 you don't bother me. Gonna make some art for everyone to see. Hi, boys and girls. Ready? Three, two, one. Zero eyes and smiles and frozen <laughs> students. Wow. All right, boys and girls, we've been talking about Vincent Van Gogh, learning a little about his life and his artwork and his style. We've been taking a close look at his uh, most famous painting, The Starry Night. And we were trying to reproduce our own little version of The Starry Night using crayons and watercolor as a crayon resists. So you remember that? Oh, that's upside down. There it is right there. So that's what we're working on. And we've probably gotten about this far at this point. So today is going to be our third or third week, I believe, on this and our final step today. And if you haven't gotten this far, if you don't have that much crayon done yet, and maybe it looks a little bit more like this, that's okay because today you've got about about half the class period to work on putting as much crayon dashes remember pushing very very hard with your crayon as much or as many crayon dashes as you can on your paper and try not to leave too much white you definitely want to leave some white because that leaves room for the watercolor to attach to the white paper because remember with the crayon resist watercolor doesn't stick to the waxy crayon it only sticks to the paper in between the crayon but you do want a lot of crayon on there and you want your look how look how close together these dashes are you really want that so if your dashes are spaced out far apart like these are you want to add much much more crayon dashes pushing very hard all right so once you get to this point how do we go from there to here or here how do we do that well you guys at home you this might be your final step you may not be able to go any further unless you have watercolor and you don't need much you just need a very little bit maybe um, a couple of dabs dips in with your paintbrush so you don't need much but if you don't have it that's okay at home if you do go ahead and grab your watercolors and you can paint the background any color you want. It doesn't have to be blue like Van Gogh's Starry Night. Uh, but I just happen to have dark blue right here. So I'm going to use some dark blue. So I'm going to go in one time with my paintbrush into the dark blue. And here we go. Here we go. And you're just going to paint right on top of your crayon right on top just right over it it's okay you can paint right over your crayon just like this and it shouldn't take you that long at all you should be using a nice big brush and you just paint over everything it doesn't even matter what direction you paint you can do swirls you can brush it in up for up and down side to side it doesn't even matter for what we're doing today it doesn't matter just make sure you cover the whole entire paper with your blue. If you find that you have a little too much paint on there and it's, it's not going to dry on top of the crayon, then what you can do, that's all the paint you need. Do you see that? What you can do is you can take a paper towel and you can kind of wipe it a little bit to get some of that rest of that watercolor off. So you really don't need much watercolor at all. All right, and once you're done, there you have your finished product. Your version of the Starry Night, instead of by Vincent Van Gogh, by you. All right, boys and girls, that's fantastic. <clears throat> I can't wait to see your finished product, see what yours look, looks like. And if you, you at home, if you want to email, send that to me through in the email, I would love to see it. You could send it directly to me. You could send it to your teacher to forward it on to me. Either one would work just fine. But, all right. I hope you enjoyed learning about Vincent Van Gogh. That's it, boys and girls. Have a great afternoon. Bye.
getting old fast and you're losing steam. Break out a piece of paper, crayons, and a pencil. Tune in Mr. Allison's YouTube channel. So, Kobe, 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 you don't bother me. Gonna make some art for everyone to see.